Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. IRS announces transition away from use of third-party verification involving facial recognition. But first, an attempt at a joke, I apologize in advance. While meeting with multiple United States creditors, President Biden beamed with pride, imagining himself to be a distinguished and decorated duck. As the cluster of United States creditors repeatedly told him, Sir, you have a large, outstanding bill. The creditors attempted to burst Biden's bubble, telling him, Hey, you're not a duck. We're trying to tell you, you owe us well over $30 trillion at this point. And no, we don't want to be paid after you have destroyed the value of the dollar through inflation. President Biden was devastated. After all, he thought, I walk like a duck. I squawk like a duck. How dare they tell me I'm not a duck? And if I'm not a duck... What was all that sweet talk about my outstanding bill? IR 2022-27, February 7, 2022, Washington. The IRS announced it will transition away from using a third-party service for facial recognition to help authenticate people creating new online accounts. I think this is good from my perspective and my experience trying to create an online account with the facial recognition because one, I wasn't able actually even to complete the process. It was a difficult process to complete. And two, it did make me feel like I was in some kind of authoritarian type of state. The next step possibly being a camera on every corner now that they have facial recognition for everybody in the country. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but I'm possibly not alone in that case. And three, having a third party be the one that's picking up the facial recognition software after we have controversies with third parties at this point in time gathering data somewhat covertly companies like Facebook and Google and whatnot, and then using it for their own purposes in order to generate uh, revenue. I, I have some skepticism on the third party collecting information like facial recognition for the entire country as well. So in any case, I have some reservations about it. So I'm glad they're stepping away from it, at least at this point. So the transition will occur over the coming weeks in order to prevent large disruptions to taxpayers during the filing season. During the transition, the IRS will quickly develop and bring online and additional authentication process that does not involve facial recognition. Good for them. The IRS will also continue to work with uh, its cross-government partners to develop authentication methods that protect taxpayers' data, ensure broad access to online tools. Quote, the IRS takes taxpayer privacy and security seriously, and we understand concerns that have been raised, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Quote, everyone should feel comfortable with, with how their personal information is secured, and we are quickly uh, pursuing short-term options that do not involve facial recognition, end quote. So obviously, <laughs> people, I'm, I'm not alone, people have, people have some reservations about, about, you know, that kind of that kind of authentication, especially since you don't have that kind of authentication with your financial institutions, all this other private information that you're working with online, doesn't seem that the government would need that substantial level up on the information recognition. So is there some other reason like they want that? Or <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, the transition announced today does not interfere with the taxpayer's ability to file their return or pay taxes owed. During this period, the IRS will continue to accept tax filings and it has uh, no other impact on the current tax season. People should continue to file their taxes as they normally do.